Okay, anyway, like I was saying before I got cut off, I don't have a lot of memory on my phone. You know, we don't need superficial religion. We need a true religion. We need true faith, and we need the attitude of Christ as a person. Or the, atti the attitude of true, what do you call, um, not just religion but we, and rules to obey, but what we need is the, the um, ethics, you know. And I made the jokes about, I just wanted to let, every, let everyone know the jokes I made about gums and teeth. You know, it's just joking. It's just a joke, just like a parody or anything else. Because, you know, my dad had his teeth pulled at a young age. And my, two of my grandparents had their teeth pulled before, you know, I was born. They had, they were dentures. And so I've got a little bit of periodontal disease myself. And I may have to end up having my teeth pulled sometime. So I guess there's a difference in intention. As a transgender person, I used to think, you know, that person hates me. They don't agree with what I'm doing. They see I'm a man. They see me as a man. But, you know, if there's more to it than just someone seeing you as a man. I mean, they have the right to their opinion, but they don't mean harm towards you. And now I'm a little more mature. I'm mature enough to understand that they don't mean harm toward me. Maybe some people have a problem with me. And they think of me as a man, but someone else who think of me as a man may really like me as a person. I mean, they don't agree with how I live my life, but that's okay. I'm mature enough now to understand it's okay if they don't accept me as a woman. It's okay. I'm not going to call them transphobes or anything like that. They don't agree with how I live. They're uh, conservative people, I understand, but they don't mean any harm toward me. They're like me. They're always nice to me. Even though they don't see me as a woman, I accept that. I accept that they have the right to their point of view and they don't mean harm. It's about the intention of what a person says, says to you. It's not really what a person says to you. It's what they intend to say. That's why I don't really want to be too much of a snowflake, you know, because, you know, the intentions of people. And that's why in church, you're in church and you're a young person and nobody, the people don't cuss you or make fun of you, but they, I mean, they don't make fun of you as a young person, but they shun you. You know, they would rather talk to someone else but ignore you like you don't exist, you know, or snicker at you. Whereas you have someone else that's frank and honest that don't go to church. You know, they smoke dope pot and everything else and potheads and everything else. And they may call you a faggot sometimes because they get mad, you know. They get aggravated and call you names or something, but they come right out and say, you know, they like you as a person. They're just a person with a temper and some, and you do things to irritate them. And they, 